Yeah. Hi, Susie. <laughs> second mission that Plasticos Foundation made this time and the trip uh, was decided already two and three months ago and first mission it was done in 2011 it was very successful And this time they decided again to come and visit Armenia and help our children and come with new doctors and new team members. Hello, I'm Dr. Jed Horowitz and I'm Vice President of the Plasticos Foundation. Uh, the Plasticos Foundation is a nonprofit foundation uh, made of medical personnel and our goal, our mission is to promote plastic surgery education and plastic surgery, reconstructive plastic surgery internationally. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. John Persing. I'm a plastic surgeon at Yale and the reason I came here was largely because of a request by one of my close friends, uh, Jed Horowitz, who's uh, Vice President of, of uh, Plasticos. Vahe Tatiosyan. I'm here with the Plasticos Foundation to Armenia on a medical mission. <coughs> to help treat uh, pediatric patients with uh, reconstructive surgery, patients with burns, patients with congenital anomalies, and uh, other deformities. Dr. Armen Chalian. My first uh, time to come to Armenia uh, to perform as a mission, to perform healthcare. I've been here before, but uh, this is the first time I'm actually helping in this tremendous project. Hello, my name is Robert Gertmanian Burns. Uh, I am one of the founding people and members of the Plasticos Foundation from Southern California. This is our third medical mission to uh, Yerevan, Armenia.
who would like to help others and uh, the Plastic Coast Foundation is f trying to figure out which way is best to make that happen in Armenia. Uh, from what I've heard, uh, the, the likelihood is that trips like these will be relatively rare. Uh, the thought is to have ind uh, independence of people traveling in over uh, uh, from the United States or any place else over the long term and have uh, uh, Armenians uh, themselves take over for uh, the, the care of patients that uh, they feel are falling through the, the cracks or gaps in care. So it's uh, been a wonderful uh, program because uh, we've identified some people who uh, needed uh, care, but also we seem to have an idea uh, that seems to make sense to everyone, that is uh, the Armenians probably locally both physicians and surgeons and also uh, those with means that can support uh, patients who need care uh, are, are all on the same page. So we're, it's, it's a great situation. I, I wish them luck. Thanks for coming, Dr. John. You help us much. And how many patients have you been operated since two days? Yeah, You said that you started two days ago. Uh, it's it's four to five patients per day. It's not that many. I wish you could do more, but there are only so many hours in the day. We have eight patients, and I hope that as soon as we finish our program, already 40 patients will be yeah, operated. And uh, by the way, we we had more than 138 patients who have been screened, and uh, with Arda's cooperation where I'm working and this screening have been done, screenings have been done and uh, I hope we will continue this program like with mi this mission again and uh, a lot of residents also benefited from this because they had the same time trainings by our experienced surgeons. Thanks for coming Dr. John. It's been my pleasure. Thanks for inviting. In our team we had also two anesthesiologists coming from LA, USA and uh, both of them are Armenians. I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I was very excited and uh, coming here now we've worked for three days and some of the days have been very long and hard. I, just yesterday we left I think at 10 p.m. and I tell you what I didn't I don't feel tired at all. I, um, and I think what uh, energizes me is the children themselves and uh, we're very, very happy to be, to be here. We're mixing with uh, Armenian doctors uh, from Yerevan, and I tell you what, the, the uh, uh, level of medicine here is, is, uh, is tremendous, and the collegial atmosphere and uh, exchanging information uh, has been tremendous. But most of all, we're here for the children. It's just fantastic that they can come with such uh, sometimes unfortunate conditions, burns or congenital uh, uh, problems. Uh, congen I don't want to even use the word deformity, I, but congenital uh, problems that we can uh, make an impact in their life. And it's been truly rewarding to the point where, like I said, I, I think it's helping me. I'm energized by the whole thing and uh, very, very excited that I, we can help others. Many of the patients are from orphanages and from other homes that have needed treatment for the last few years. We'd like to give thanks, of course, to Arab Care Hospital, Arda Foundation, um, and many other people, countless number of people that uh, were able to allow us to actually come and help. Uh, the important part of the mission is not only that we're here helping with the surgeries and having the surgeries done, but also working in collaboration with the Armenian doctors and surgeons and nurses in the entire hospital system that we're learning from them and they're learning from us. Of course for a lot of us, or at least a few of the Armenian ones that are in the mission, it's very important that not only are we participating in a, in a mission trip uh, for surgery, but for us it's also coming back to our homeland. For me personally, it's the first mission that I've gone on as an international physician or an international doctor, uh, and it's humbling and a wonderful experience that I'm able to do the first mission internationally uh, going back to my own homeland, coming back to Armenia. And uh, we are just completing our first week of surgeries on young children with congenital and acquired defects and uh, so far 
We are very pleased with both uh, the hospital that we are in and the people that we are working with. It's been a great experience, not only for our team, but I think for the people that we have been working in collaboration with. Uh, our uh, goal is to further medical education, not only for ourselves, but for our compatriots, and to serve the children of Armenia in a continuing fashion. This is the second surgical trip we've done to Armenia. Uh, the first trip was a site visit to come and meet everybody that we've been working with and we perform, uh, We had one surgical mission here about um, one and a half years ago. So it's taken a, a year and a half to put this team together, uh, get everything organized so we can have the most productive time here. And this has been a very, uh, it's been a very good trip, this trip. It's been very encouraging. We've had a number of residents from the university um, training uh, program. We've had a number of plastic surgeons, young plastic surgeons, who are interested in having additional training, which is the purpose of this mission. Organized trip, thanks to all of the team members here in Armenia, as well as the team members that we have from Plasticos. It's been a very long, more than six months uh, of very intensive work to get things organized, and it's paid off because uh, things have run very smoothly. Um, so we've had a number of patients, a number of types of cases we've done. There have been a number of cleft lips and palates that we've operated on, a number of burn scars, uh, some congenital hand deformities, and um, it's, it's been a, just a very exciting and very fruitful experience here in Erevan. And thank you, Susan. Thank you.